This could be a big one, as today we take a look at Whole Live Japan's Uraha Rusia, who you may have seen trending with this today, with Twitter giving this description for the trend. Mafu Mafu shares a tweet apologizing and appearing to clarify that he is not in a relationship with fellow virtual YouTuber Rusia. So what is this about, and who are these VTubers or virtual YouTubers? Well, to begin with, here we have Rusia of Hololive, as you can see here with 1.57 million YouTube subscribers and yes, 1.1 million followers on Twitter. A talent with the Hall Live Production VTuber group, along also with this talent, that being Mafu Mafu, who as you can see here has 2.1 million Twitter followers and is not actually a virtual YouTuber or a VTuber, but is instead a Yutate, aka a singer who primarily focuses on cover songs here with their YouTube YouTube channel of 3.39 million YouTube subscribers. And Mafu Mafu has also began opening up their own VTuber agency, that being Marais, with 74,000 followers, a joint venture with the Shibuya Hao, another very popular VTuber and Apex Legends player. And very quickly, my name is False ID, and I talk about VTubers. So in order to go and understand what's happening here, let's firstly just lay out how these two have achieved such a large fan base, with a part of their appeal being the girlfriend and boyfriend experience creating deeply parasocial relationships with a number of their fans, so much so that as you can see here in Rushia's merchandising, she has been given a bridal theme, with even one of those pieces of merchandise being a Rushia engagement ring for life, with this entire merchandise pack going for 12,000 yen, that being a little over 100 US dollars. And Mafu Mafu, who is providing a slight boyfriend experience as well, is no stranger to this this type of merchandise, having in 2019 sold this, a contract with Mafu Mafu Ring. And these talents have seen a load of great success with this approach, as Uraha Rusia is the top earning super chat talent in the world, receiving $3.2 million in total on the YouTube streaming platform, with some supporters actually providing tens of thousands of dollars apiece. And of course, that does not include memberships on the YouTube platform or merchandising, as Rusia is also part of the very lucrative and popular Gen 3, that being the third generation of Hall Live Japan. So what's happening? What's going on? What's the controversy? Well, here we have user Koyomi giving us a very thorough breakdown, saying that it's not exhaustive, but it's what they've gathered and included what Japanese users are saying, clarifying this situation is very sensitive. As yesterday on a Grand Theft Auto 5 stream with fellow Hall Live Japan member Sakura Miko. Rusha had unknowingly had her Discord alerts shown on screen, and then the following alert in the top left appeared on stream, with this message coming from Mafu Mafu in reading, I just finished streaming, I'm getting ready to go home, and then calling Rusha by her non-VTuber name, and not just the non-VTuber name, but a more familiar nickname, with Koyomi stating, Rusia didn't react to it, and as far as they could tell, continued to stream normally. And while later this particular video was privated, another reason was given later as to why it was made private. Koyomi also shares, during a previous incident, Rusia's Discord again appeared on stream, and his name was in her messages. Most people wrote it off as aunties, photoshopping the image, and thankfully it was soon forgotten. But now it's being brought up again, stating the rumor that their dating is old. In 2018, fans noticed he had the same tableware as Rusia. He had to publicly address the situation, apologize for the confusion, and explained they were from fans. As Mafu Mafu would tweet at the time, I'm sorry to bother you at this time of night, but I just got off the phone with a friend. It seems that people are saying that Mafu Mafu is in a relationship with the name of Rusia that is her non-VTuber name. The stream based on the matches of our dishes and stuffed animals. But this is not the fact whatsoever. I'm really sorry for causing trouble 
available to others with something that has no basis in fact. Continuing on, I've been using tableware that I've gotten from fans at gigs and events over the years. I'm really sorry for bothering you guys all the time. I'm sorry for always bothering you guys. And yes, this is now a major story in Japan. Here being at the time of this recording, the second highest news story on Yahoo Japan, one of the top news sites in the entire nation, as Mafu Mafu would then tweet out and receive 165,000 likes, trying to explain the situation. Regarding the trouble that has been caused, I'm really sorry for causing so many misunderstandings due to my rash actions. I became friends with the person through a game, and when I contacted them last night to play a game, I made many people feel uncomfortable. We are not living together. I'm really sorry about this. Earlier today, there was also this. Koratube, aka Kora Kora Channel, a YouTube user with 1.62 million subscribers and is seen as someone who talks about drama, would go on to say that they've known Rusia for over 12 years and thinks of her as a good friend, knowing Mafu Mafu as well. Four years ago, Rusia had gone to lunch with Mafu Mafu and then later messaged Kore Kore about Mafu, asking if he was trustworthy and about other relationships, saying she might be interested in him and wanted to learn more. The two then did become good friends, but Rusia just wanted to make clear that she simply wanted to be nice to everyone and just wanted to start playing Apex together with Mafu Mafu. The year later, Rusia would join Hall Live Productions in 2019. And now for the present, Rusia has messaged Kore Kore, as KoreTube has stated, saying this is all a huge misunderstanding and that she does not live with Mafu Mafu or anything like that, explaining the situation that she invited him to play Apex Legends after the Grand Theft Auto stream, but he had not replied, and when he did reply, it was during the Grand Theft Auto stream. Rusha also stated she did not see the comments from her chat about the Discord notifications being on screen, as she was preoccupied with all of the licensed songs in Grand Theft Auto 5, and those songs playing was the reason why the video was privated, with Corey adding, Rusha is feeling terrible and is thinking about disappearing. And that is only part of the story. The other part of the story, of course, are reactions, as fans have even been recorded crying over the situation. And today, the English Spear was made more aware of the situation with this reaction coming from Vienna, a Vienna VTuber, C9's VTuber, having originally deleted a prior tweet and saying, wish everyone in the situation the best. I say this a lot, but please don't donate or sub to me or other streamers because you have feelings for them. Please take care of you. Adding, if you want to support streamers, that's cool, but only if you're able to support yourself first. And friend of the show, Captain Dandyfloss, had forwarded this to us and has since received loads of attention on Twitter as well, saying, when you find out your favorite VTuber has a gas relationship, how dare they? This is pretty cringe, not gonna lie. Let Rusia do what she wants. Sharing that another user had stated, I'm shaking and crying. What we had was special. Two years down the drain. I hope you're happy with him, Rusia. Then further showing this exchange with Blue saying, no, believe in her. Red saying, how? How can I compete with Mafu Mafu? I lost. It's over. And further replies stating, just find his address and make him not exist. It's so easy. With Blue then wanting to provide a Google Maps link. We also have content creator Coefficient stating as a person that started watching VTubers because of Rusia and finding out that she might quite possibly have a relationship. I'm proud to announce that it doesn't matter. Thank you. Have a nice day. We also have here Twee, Twitch partner and VTuber, saying two things to take away from the Rusia stuff today. VTubers are not your waifus. They have their own lives. Let them live, shaking my head, and also adding, use window capture, game capture on OBS instead of display capture if you want to be safe. Which, of course, is an absurd assertion. Display capture is just fine and has not blown up in my face at all in my entire time of stream. Okay, okay, all right, all right, okay. And we also have here Mexican Sunbro. I just now learned about the drama with Rusia, and all I'm going to say is this. I'm 90% sure at least half the talents in Hall Live either have boyfriends, are married, or are lesbian. Even if they were single, there's a high chance they will not be into you. And yes, we now even have fan art of the situation, with this work coming from B, showing these two on a very particular wedding day, as also Noella, that being Noella Yoshino, 
a magical bunny VTuber in their crime arc saying, Rusia has a partner. Every Hollow Live idol you support probably has a partner. They are real people. Streamers have lives outside of streams. Your Oshi is getting railed right now. I'm getting railed right... Rah! Confirming that they were talking about riding a train. And we also have this coming from Darkstalker6. Japanese idol otaku lunatics are selling their Rusia merch because she interacted with a male VTuber on stream. Now is the time to buy her merch cheap. Kiyomi also had this update. There is a meme going around on Japanese Twitter along with a new trend. That being the joy of having an Oshi. With this image being the meme and saying if they're happy then it's okay. And further after this there is a new number one trend in Japan. That being this hashtag that reads I love you Rusia. With people sharing images of Rusia and writing messages to support her and urging her to come back as she has not at the time this recording made any statement or made any further stream. Yes, once again, this did reach number one in Japan with the creator of this hashtag saying, I'd like to make Rusia feel better when she ego surfs, aka looks herself up on the internet, saying, I'm afraid that if I don't, I'll be involved in Rusia's life of retirement. As many are very concerned, this could then lead to the graduation of this talent from Hololive Productions, fearing that a fan backlash may lead to an early retirement for the talent. And of course, this hashtag is met with lots of artwork, including this being shared from Etchy Sketchy, saying, Rusha, we always love you no matter what happens. Along with this piece, I will be waiting. I love Rusha. I want to see this smile all the time. And so there we have it. That is the current state of this quote-unquote controversy. Are we too far into the parasocial relationship? Was there even a mistake made here? A number of viewpoints are coming out of this, and we are, of course, very interested in your viewpoint. Please, please feel free to comment below. And also, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Once again, we now are live on Twitch.tv for our shows. And also, feel free to join our Discord for more VTuber news. And we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon.